Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of graphics cards, specifically focusing on the top five budget options that deliver impressive performance without. Breaking the bank, kicking off our list at number five is the AMD Radeon RX 7600. Released on May 24, 20,231. This mid-range offering from AMD's latest RDNA 3 family is a major gift for gamers on a budget. The RX 7600 is designed for AAA gaming at 1080p with high to maxed out details 1. You can take advantage of features such as FSR to further dial up display resolutions and effectively game at 1 for 4OP. It's based on the same RDNA graphics architecture that also powers the RX 7900 series, but understandably scaled down one. What sets the RX 7600 apart is its advanced dual issue rate compute units with over 17% IPC. Improvement over the previous RDNA to see us. Second generation ray accelerators with a claimed 50% increase in ray intersection performance. And for the first time on an AMD GPU, Hardware acceleration for AI in the form of two AI accelerator units per CU. The RX 7600 features to shader engines and 30 to our DNA3 compute units, which work out to 2048 stream processors, 60 for AI accelerators, 30 to Ray accelerators, 128 TMOS, and 60 for ROPS1. The memory subsystem sees minor updates the same 8GB GDDR6 over a 128-bit memory interface, but clocked faster at 18 GBPs and backed by a faster Infinity cache memory, while it still lags behind NVIDIA's mid-range RTX 3060 on ray tracing. It offers fantastic 1080p performance and even some passable 144p chops within reason. You really can't miss with this card, check out the link provided in the description. Moving on to number 4 on our list, we have the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1660 Super. This card is a superstar in the entry-level graphics card market. Not only does it overcome the original GTX 1660, it all but matches the GTX 1660T, making that more expensive card almost irrelevant in comparison. The GeForce GTX 1660 Super is a fantastic card for budget gamers. It builds on the GeForce GTX 1660 to take the power up a notch, yet. It offers that boost in performance while still staying in the budget range for graphics cards. With its improved speed and video memory compared to the original 1660, it's the perfect card for anyone building or taking their budget gaming PC to the next level one. The GTX 1660 Super stands somewhere between the GTX 1660 and GTX 1660T in terms of performance. And price, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super gets 6GB of GDDR6 memory clocked at 14 GBPs, which is faster than even the 12 gigabits per second GDDR6 memory found on the GTX 1660T and on par with that of. The much pricier RTX 2060 in terms of memory bandwidth 336 gigabytes per second. This card is super solid for 1080p gaming and robust for some titles at 144p3. It is a fine price to performance equation versus competing AMD Radeon midrange cards 3. However, it ran a little hot in stress tests and overclocking the card further was rocky. The Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1660 Super Premium over NVIDIA's MSRP for this SKU2. If you're on the market for the best graphics card for 1080p gaming, you're going to want the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super. You can find the link in the description below. Number 3 is the MSI AMD Radeon RX 6600. The MSI AMD Radeon RX 6600 is a fantastic choice for gamers who are looking for excellent performance at a relatively affordable price. It's equipped with AMD's new Fidelity Super Resolution technology, which is already helping to improve the performance of huge games like Far Cry 6 and Resident Evil Village. This card features 1790 to shading units, 112 texture mapping units, and 60 for ROPS 2. It also has 28 ray tracing acceleration cores too, providing an incredible gaming experience. The card supports 4K and 8K resolution 3, which is a great feature for those with high-end displays. The MSI Radeon RX 6600 XT Gaming X brings with it the very latest twin Frozer 8 cooling solution. With a chunky dual stack heatsink, Torx 4.0 fans with webbed impellers for axial airflow 4. This design keeps the limits of thermal performance turning. 
Fan blades alternate between traditional blades and dispersion blades that focus and accelerate. Airflow into the heatsink. One downside is that it can't really break through to 144 OP. But if you're gaming at 108 OP, this card offers excellent performance. It's comparable to an RTX 3060 and they both trade blows. The MSI Radeon RX 6600 XT Gaming X comes overclocked to a rated boost of 2607 MHz out of the box 3. In real life, this turns into a 2% performance improvement at 108OP and 3% at 144OP and for K3. So if you're looking for a card that offers great value and performance for your gaming needs, the MSI AMD Radeon RX 6600 could be a solid choice. The Intel Arc A750 is aggressively making it a great choice for those on a budget. This card offers decent performance for both 108OP and 144OP gaming. One of the standout features of the Arc A750 is its minimalist design that eschews gaudy RGB, LED ink. It's a refreshing change for those who prefer a more understated look for their PC build. In terms of performance, the Arc A750 has shown to handle modern AAA games like Cyberpunk 2077 and Returnal quite well. It even outperformed the RTX 3060 in many cases, putting it just under halfway between the RTX 3060 and the RTX 3060T. This is impressive considering it costs substantially less, the Arc A750. Just like its elder sibling, the Arc A770 is based on Intel's Alchemist architecture. It comes with 28 XE cores and 28 ray tracing units and has been clocked at 2050 MHz. The GPU comes with 8GB of GDDR6 memory and a memory interface of 256-bit. It connects to your PC using a PCIe Gen 4.0 x16 slot and has a bandwidth of 512GB. Also included are 448 tensor cores which help improve the speed of machine learning applications 5. The card also has 28 ray tracing acceleration cores 5. These capabilities put this discrete GPU on par with mid-range discrete graphics processors from the NVIDIA GeForce RTX and AMD Radeon product lines. Support for several technologies is also a notable advantage. This GPU specifically supports Intel Deep Link technology which coordinates co-processing operations across a compatible Intel Core CPU and even the Intel Iris Z integrated GPU to maximize the performance of an entire computer system running on an Intel Platform 2. This GPU also supports various encoding and decoding technologies. These include H264, H265 or HVC AV and VP9. However, it's worth noting that while the Arc A750 offers strong performance, it does encounter strong competition from AMD and NVIDIA, who have several products in this price range. It also has potential driver pitfalls and only 8GB of room despite these drawbacks. The Intel Arc A750 is a solid choice for those looking for a budget, friendly graphics card that doesn't compromise on performance. Coming in at number 1 is the Zodiac Gaming GeForce RTX 300 5012. This mid-range graphics card is perfect for 1080p Full HD Gaming 1. It's based on the recently announced RTX 3050 Amper, and it's one of the most affordable RTX 3050 variants. The Zodiac Gaming GeForce RTX 3050 features a compact design meant for maximum compatibility and congested case. It only needs one 8-pin PCIe power connector one. The iStorm 2.0 cooling solution features a dense aluminum finstack heatsink ventilated by a pair of 80mm fans including the idle fan stop feature, design and build. The Zodiac Gaming GeForce RTX 3050 is designed with a compact form factor, making it an excellent choice for those with smaller PC cases. Despite its size, it doesn't compromise on performance. The card's build quality is robust, ensuring longevity and durability cooling system. The card features Zotaxi Storm 2.0 cooling solution. This includes a dense aluminum finstack heatsink and a pair of 80mm fans. The fans also have an idle fan stop feature, which means they only spin when the GPU is under load, reducing noise and increasing the lifespan of the fans, power and performance. The Zodiac Gaming GeForce RTX 3050 only requires a single 8-pin PCIe power connector, making it energy efficient, it's factory overclocked. 
with a boost frequency of 1807 MHz compared to the 1777 MHz reference. This means you'll get more performance out of the box compared to other RTX 3050 cards memory. The card comes with 8GB of GDDR6 memory across a 128-bit wide memory interface. This is ample for modern games and ensures smooth gameplay at high settings, gaming performance. When it comes to gaming, this card shines. It can handle demanding AAA titles at 1080p resolution without any major hiccups in various test suites. The performance was well above 60 FPS, ensuring a smooth and immersive gaming experience. In conclusion, the Zodiac Gaming GeForce RTX 3050 offers excellent value for money. It delivers impressive performance for its price point, making it our top pick for budget graphics cards. Take the next step now. Click the link in the description to discover anything you need.